you are standing in front of the Church of the Holy Spirit, Heidelberg's most famous church. The church with its beautiful steeple rising high above the roofs is the very first thing you notice when entering Heidelberg. The first mention of a Church of the Holy Spirit can be found in documents dating back to 1239, where it was a parish church. This church, probably from the late Romanesque period, had been erected in the place of an even older church. It was replaced in 1398 by the building you can see today, which makes it the third sacral building on this site. The order to construct a new church was given by the Elector Ruprecht III in combination with founding the university in 1386. The mayor at the time, Arnold Reip, is according to the document the master builder. He did not however mean he was the architect, only the financial coordinator. The choir of the church was consecrated in 1411 and the nave was finished 30 years later, at which time the constructions of the steeple started. However, the work got interrupted and the tower was not finished until 1544. Thus, the work of consecrating the church took around 150 years in total. Throughout these years, there have been numerous architects working on the design, both more local architects and architects brought in from surrounding areas. As the church became the university church for the University of Heidelberg, the church sometimes served as a lecture hall during its early stages. It also had a library in the gallery section, the world-famous Biblioteca Palatina, founded by Ludwig III. The Biblioteca Palatina is a collection of around 5,000 books and over 3,200 manuscripts. This collection did however get stolen during the Thirty Year War by the Holy Roman Empire commander, General Tilly. These spoils of war were later given to Pope Gregory XV as a gift by the Elector of Bavaria, Maximilian I. In 1816, a mere 885 of the books and manuscripts were returned to the church. The rest remains in the Vatican Library where it forms the Biblioteca Palatina section of its library. The church has not only been subject to theft. In 1633, the church was set on fire by the French army of King Louis XIV in the Palatine War of Succession. The damage caused by the fire later forced a reconstruction of the roof in 1709. The roof got a more baroque style and a new spire, the very one we currently see today. Another major damage caused by the fire was done to all the elector graves. Prior to the fire, the church housed the graves of all the former Palatine electors. However, after the fire, only the grave of the church founder, Ruprecht III, remained intact. The rest were destroyed. During the years, the church has been used by both Catholic and Protestants, even simultaneously. In 1706, a partition was used so that both congregations could hold their services without any mutual disruptions. However, in 1720, the Elector Palatine, Karl III Philip, made enemies with the Protestant ranks, as he handed over full control of the Church of the Holy Spirit to the Catholics. The Elector, however, changed his mind after pressure from Prussia, Holland and Sweden. The wall that had been used to separate the different disciplines were torn down in 1936, and the Church is now exclusively Protestant. A fun fact about the church is that it became somewhat of a tourist attraction 
and a symbol of the hippies and the flower power movement in the beginning of the 1970s. In 1972, a rock concert by Werner Pieper and the English band Quintessence was organized in the church. The concert was met with great enthusiasm by students and hippies alike. However, in conservative church circles, this performance was viewed, let's just say, more critically. If you have the time and the will, I recommend that you go into the church steeple. It will give you an amazing view over the rooftops of 